Traditional Muslims Nuzat and Shaquille Ahmed left Pakistan 20 years ago, now live in Birmingham with their three children, 18-year-old Umama, 16-year-old Werda, and 15-year-old Muaz. The Escots are a liberal family from Liverpool. Deb and Andy have a daughter, three-year-old Emily, and 16-year-old Beck is Deb's daughter from a previous relationship. The wives have agreed to swap husbands, homes and children for two weeks to see what they can learn from the experience. What happens when religion clashes with sexuality? Sorry, but this lesbian thing, it's not acceptable out at all. In Islam, please, uh, please don't go. No, I'm not saying anything. She's not saying that I'm sexual. But you're suddenly washing. How do you cope when your new family rarely lifts a finger to help? I felt a bit subordinated. I felt like a bit of a slave to the family. And what effect will the experience have on each other's families? As a mother, I will never say giving up on my child. I haven't given up on it. Like, I, I haven't just... given up on it. The Ahmeds are a strict Muslim family who pray five times a day. Mum Nuzat not only works for the council in accounts and studies. Is anyone hungry? What time yes. would you like your dinner? As soon as possible, please. Are we happy? She also single-handedly runs the household. I see myself as the backbone of the family. Everything runs so smoothly. Clothes is like washed and ironed. Cooking is done every night. Sandwiches are done for everyone. Dishes are washed. Kitchen is clean. What else we need? Oh, should we get some pickles? Yeah. Nuzat keeps a tight rein on her children to ensure their strict family values are upheld. I will always know where my children are. I'll always drop them, pick them up. And my children never been out after maybe half, nine, ten. When the people say, like, children are doing this, children are doing that, I always say that it's not their fault, don't blame them. Parents need to do a lot more. Husband Shaquille shares her views on parenting. By raising voice, or stamping your feet, you can't resolve any difference. I'm not saying we are perfect family, but I think we got it right. Working hard, putting effort into children. I think in a way we got it quite right. Nuzat will be swapping with Deb Escott for a rather unconventional family life in Liverpool. I'm the breadwinner, I'm the one that goes out to work. I'm an admin director for a theatre company. We've got two shows that we're planning at the moment. Andy's the one whose responsibilities are more within the home. Well, I do most of the cooking, I do all the washing, I do a lot of tidying. I just keep the house ticking over. Andy's role of house husband means he can spend quality time with three-year-old Emma. See ya! <laughs> Just do the normal things that any parent would do, but probably more so than a lot of men. Andy and Emma's relationship's really good. She's a real little daddy's girl. By his own admission, his relationship with stepdaughter Beck is lacking. Not that I don't love Beck, but because of, I'm not a dad, we've never had a close relationship. It upsets me when Beck and Andy argue. They don't understand each other, and I'm stuck in the middle. Is that what it is? Just have that one for now. Yeah, we do argue over just silly things, I guess, most of the time. Tom. The one thing the family are united on is drama student Beck's sexuality. To me, homosexuality is as normal as heterosexuality. It's part of our life, it's part of our family. Oh, I'm, winning. I'm not so naive to think that everybody's comfortable with it. I have come across a lot of people who have strong beliefs and have strong faith that are maybe, you know, are intolerant. And also, I do, I think that, you know, organised religion has a lot of uh, uh, parts of playing the ills of the world. It's the day of the swap and both wives are preparing to leave. I've never been away on my own. It's very, very strange. It's going to be hard. I'm nervous about meeting the new family. I'm, you know, I'm, in fact, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared now. Oh, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon, Mummy. Bye-bye. Right, Hello. Hi. Before they meet their new family, the wives have the chance to look around their new home. I have a, a strong suspicion that it's a, an Asian family. When was this room hoovered before? <laughs> In Islam, 
cleanliness is half of the faith, so no one knows what clean is here. There's the Quran. I'm imagining strong religious beliefs because there's evidence of it everywhere. Oh, it's a little bit scary. <laughs> How? <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> lots and lots of hangers, but all the clothes are in a big pile. Oh, what a lovely room. It's a lot tidier and less smelly than my daughter's. <laughs> I think she spends a lot of time just sitting here alone. She's looking for love. That's why lots of heart. Each wife has written a manual as a guide to the running of their home. I would describe myself as agnostic and Andy is an atheist. How can people live without a religion? Well, family philosophy is based on Islamic principles. I would like the woman, if she chooses, to wear the hijab. I'm, I'm not going to do that. There are certain things about, you know, covering up one's self or one's head that I don't agree with. I go to work and Andy is essentially the house husband. And he's been demotivated for quite some time. And maybe he, he thinks like he should be the breadwinner. When a man and woman, woman consent to marriage, the woman comes under custodianship of her husband. I do already feel sort of oppressed and sort of, my, you know, the walls closing in, in on me in a way. At the moment, Beck is a challenging teenage daughter who's recently come out as a lesbian. It's lesbian and gay, that's not acceptable in Islam at all. It's finally time for the wives to meet their new fam. Assalamualaikum. Hello. I'm Shakira. It's lovely Hello. to meet you. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Um, I'm Nusad. Sorry, sorry, if you don't mind, I won't shake hands. OK, no, that's fair enough. Because to my faith. OK, I that's use, fine, uh, yeah. Physical contact. OK, it? thank you. Sorry. I'll explain it because okay. I'm Muslim. I'm not supposed to. Okay, that's fine. I respect that. That's fine. This is back. Hello, yeah? back. You all right? Yes. I was nervous, but I'm kind of feeling all right now. I think they seem like all right people, so we are bit. just going to be fine. Sit down, back. Back has some concerns about her new mum's religious beliefs. It restricts people's lives in the way they can't. Muslim women can't have any contact with any other men. When we have guests staying, mm -hmm. they normally sleep on that. Can I just explain? Yeah. According to <laughs> my religion, yeah. um, it's, it's not allowed for me to stay in your house if my oh, husband right. is not with me. Oh, right, OK. So the same film will be for Deb. So she Deb will be, be staying in a, in, a... in a hotel as well. Well, that saves the, the problem of the bed, Deb, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm quite excited by it. I'm not going to convert to Islam any more than I'll convert to anything. I'm still an atheist, but, you know, nevertheless, respect people who've got faith. I just and want if... a bit of rest instead yeah. of eating. You just don't fancy this. <laughs> when she didn't want any food, I was a bit worried that maybe there was something that I didn't know. I didn't eat in the house because alcohol is forbidden in Islam, and he was, like, preparing the food and he was drinking. In Birmingham, Deb runs the risk of ruining the Ahmed's dinner, and Shaquille is standing by to lay down the law. And usually also it's Islamic tradition when we touch food to wash hands. OK. Um, a smell. It's really stilted when, when we're talking and really sort of manners. I um, find it really difficult to relax with him. And secondly, also, when we wash hands for food, we don't use you towel don't use afterwards. That. So, shall I do it again, then? Think. If you want, yeah. Yeah. OK. Well, I did it After the, the freshly prepared family meals at home, dinner in the Escott house is a shock for Nuzat. Is there any reason why ketchup is not on there? I'd rather dip it. I'll put it in a nice plate, <laughs> give her some cutlery. He took the pizza out and put the pizza on the packaging and passed it on to bags, which was, wasn't nice at all. It's unfortunate when... People bring children into this world and don't give their 100% to those children to bring them up. 
Like, why bother then? In Birmingham, Deb has been staying in a hotel as her new strict Muslim family's views prevent her from sleeping under their roof. It's 6.30 and while the family sleeps, Deb has to start her working day. She gets up early so that she can cram more things into the day so that she can do more around the house. And I think maybe with a little bit more support from her family, maybe she wouldn't need to get up quite so early. In Liverpool, Deb's job in a theatre company working with Risque Productions is something of a culture shock for Nizza. Hmm, very different from where I work. I've never been to theatre before. What's the point? <laughs> Sometimes when they perform, it's uh, more about sex and things like that. Despite having been up since six and done a full day at the office, in Birmingham, Deb's working day is far from over. Have you got any washing? She still has a mountain of chores to do without any help from Shaquille, who is still at work, or the children. Hello, I'm going to ask you, do you have any washing? Colours and whites. It's just felt at times like a bit of a slave. And I don't think the woman's place is to look after everybody else particularly when I'm sort of running around cleaning and everybody else is just standing around watching me waiting for me to finish. Shaquille is on hand to give some advice. She hasn't done uh, ironing. I don't think she has done any DIY around the house. There are a couple of small things uh, which they perhaps could do. Something else that Nusrat will do, you know. Today. Right, okay. It was quite shocking for me being told to mop the floor. Such a strange situation to be in. I get a sense of passive aggressive, of being controlled. Nuzat's yeah. also finding it difficult to relax. With the arrival of Adrian and Chris, the Escots' gay friend. Hello. 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 Hi. It's Hi. lovely to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. I won't shake hands okay, because no of problem. my face. I'm Adrian. Adrian. And Chris is Chris. Chris. Oh, how are you doing? Settling in? Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. It's all right. You've been okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Nice oh, day. Tough day at work, but yes. Chris. That was really, really strange because I've never been in a situation like that. Pardon? Such a little child shouldn't be in that kind of company. She might not, but she probably will turn into a lesbian. I've got the dinners ready. Okay. With Shaquille out, Deb is keen to discuss the Ahmed's strict beliefs. So are there other things that you would like to do that, that you, you, you know, your mum and dad don't let you? They would never let me just, like, get, like, you know, grab a backpack, become my friends and, you know, Right. Well, you're a friend, I think it would have to be specific, like, they'd have to know, like, oh, go yeah. to this specific place, we're saying this hotel, we'll be back, we've got this flight there. Sure, like yeah. That. I think a bit more freedom for my parents and me, because they like, they like to know if we're going out, they like to know um, when we're going and, you know, who we're going with yeah. and, like, when, we'll, when we should be back. Their wings have been clipped. I think that, you know, unless you, you have challenges, unless you're able to go out and sort of deal with problems as they happen, you, you know, that, that's all part of learning, it's all part of growing up. When you're at our age, you just... The Ahmed like girls like might want more self. freedom, but in the Escot house, Beck is having too much. That's good. In trouble. She's late back from her girlfriend's house. She's supposed to be back at half five. She brings me up 25 past five and uh, says, oh, the buses aren't working. I've never known anyone have so much trouble with buses as Beck. She's not even good at lying. She comes up with the same excuses every time. She'll be back when she's back. I told her, just come back now. She tried ringing another, just put the phone down. She rang you again and you put the phone down. Three times, but I, I didn't even answer this. I would never, ever ignore my child's phone call. This family is a very dysfunctional family. I don't think there is any relationship between Andy and Beck. That's why she's, she's not respecting him and they're staying out. With Andy ready to throw in the towel, Nuzat takes hurts. charge. I'm trying to contact you. If you could uh, give us a call, give me a call back, please. It's now 8 p.m. and she's still refusing to come home. 
Hi, Beck. Is Nusat here? Your mum said no. An hour later, there's still no sign of Beck. A distraught Nuzat pushes Andy to find out where the girlfriend lives. I'm not going to get this address off you, am I? But Beck is defiant. Cheers for that. No, cheers for that, Beck. That's good. 11 p.m. and Nuzat has to accept that Beck will be sleeping over at her girlfriend's. It does seem like I failed. Yeah, because, but uh, Ben, you, it does. sounds to me like you might be a bit of a perfectionist anyway. I think uh, your family just sounds, you know, idyllic. You know, your children are good, they respect you, they, they, you know, they don't... I want to say we are perfect, but yeah. at least we do love each other very yeah. much and we do respect yeah. each other. But there is a lot of... I, I don't agree, there is a lot of love in our house. I strongly but, you know. believe that children should respect their elders, do as they've been told to do, because whatever parents say, it's for their own good. After spending the night at her girlfriend's house, Beck is finally home. Yes. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yes. Okay. Sorry, you're all right. All right. Okay. We'll say no more about it. Anyway. Morning. Morning. Sorry about you. We were really disappointed. You have let everyone, everyone down. And that was like wasn't fair on Andy. Wasn't fair on me. I'm um, just going to let it slide and we'll talk about it. Uh, I think... Uh, Beck needs to think about what she's done. Yes, and uh, definitely we'll think, sit down and talk about it, like yeah. why it has happened. I think her children, from everything I've heard from her, they're very well behaved. Their compliance is a word that comes to mind. I mean, I think that's probably part of religion as well, isn't it? Foreign the faith. OK, we don't, I don't get a great deal of respect off Beck. I'd hate to think that any of my children sort of grew up feeling that they had to be a certain way because it was that was the way it was and that they couldn't make their own mistakes. My sister's got In Birmingham, yeah. Deb is being introduced to the difficulties of being a Muslim teenager. Are you allowed to have boyfriends? No. You have friends that are boys, but there's yeah. very strict limits about, you know... Because your, your mum and dad had an arranged marriage, didn't they? Yeah. Is that something that you're going to have or haven't you decided yet? I don't think so. I'll just hopefully find the right person and then just say, Mum, Dad, meet so and so. Yeah. And then hope that it goes it's well. Get married. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah. you like to sort of fall in love. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If my parents just introduced me to someone and like, like I spent a lot of time with that person. Uh, yeah. Like, over like a year yeah, or, or whatever. Yeah. And it really clicked. Then I wouldn't, I wouldn't just say no just to be obnoxious. I think it is a struggle being Muslim. That's cropped up a few times today in about a Muslim living in the 21st century and making decisions. And, you know, the basis of it is all these choices that they have. Uh, but those choices are bound within quite a controlled framework. There are tough consequences for the choices Beck has been making in the Escot house. You mind if we switch the TV off and discuss yeah, yeah. what happened last night? Yeah. You think uh, it's fair? and what you no, done I last know, night. I know. What I did last night was wrong. I, I, I strongly think that was very, very rude and very disrespectful. Yeah. And this... Sorry, but this lesbian thing, it's way out of... Uh, Way out, it's it's not acceptable out at all. In Islam, it's way. Uh, no, it's on. not. So, hang on. please, no, uh, please don't go. No, no. Mum said that I'm not saying anything. She's not saying I never want to be sexual. I don't no, I agree, Beck. So, we're not, I'm not having anything about anti-gay under any circumstances whatsoever. Okay. This is a belief okay. I have okay. that everybody that I don't think people choose the sexuality. I okay. think they're born with it. That's it. Okay. The fact that Beck's gay doesn't make her a bad person. Uh, no, no. Uh, and but I know that maybe in Islam you're not allowed to be gay. No. It's wrong. Yes. I'm just saying, why did you have to say that? That's, that's who I am. But in your religion, it's not. it might not be respected, but that's not my religion, it's my life. Yes, that's the person but that, I am. But you are not forced to stay the night with. with that's her. A I know issue. that. I that's, know that. I know that because if if it was a boy, I understand it's exactly the same. If it was a boy, I wouldn't be allowed to stay. I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. And I know I did same. wrong. I know I I know I was bad last night. But you don't have to turn around and say that I can't. I'm not allowed to. 
yeah. have my sexuality. That's my opinion. I'll stick by that. I, that's what I believe in. And if you believe in what you are doing, it's right, then it's up to you. The views obviously are completely and utterly influenced by her religion. This is one of the reasons I don't really like um, organised religion. I've kissed my girlfriend. What's wrong with kissing my girlfriend? What's wrong with kissing my girlfriend? What's wrong with liking girls? Is there no gay Muslims? No. No. <laughs> um, there really is, you know. And they're hiding it because they're scared. If they are, then they are not Muslims. In Islam, that is not allowed. And when you do something like that, then... Something like what? Fancy someone of the same sex. You are being argumentative. That's not the way. We can debate about I'm it. Gonna, but I'm going to be argumentative because I'm going to stand up for who I am. I'm going to stand up for my sexuality, which is mm. which if means arguing, I'll argue because it's who I am. Because you are getting angry. Do I hate gay and lesbians? Not at all. Not at all. I am really like upset on this because I upset a little girl whose mother is not here. Allah Ta'ala is going to punish me for that. But that was not my intention. Next morning, the mood has shifted. Good morning, everyone. And Beck has decided the best policy is to agree to differ with Nuzat. There was a bit of a check off about my sexuality and how I thought it was wrong and stuff. Weird religion, just because it's just the way it restricts people. Say so if there's gay Muslims out there, there obviously is. And it's there, it's stopping them being themselves. How was your day? Um, right. it's, it's her opinion and I'm not going to hold it against her as a person. Wanted to see if you are all right. Yeah, I'm okay. Yes. Sorry to upset you yesterday. That wasn't my intention. And it's... that wasn't like... Okay. Uh, it must have like sounded like I hate gays or anything, but I don't. Yeah, we should just put that behind us. Yes, kind of yes, forget about the rest of it. Yes. Week. With yes, a truce yes. on sexuality, Nuzat no, turns her no, attention to the way. issues with <laughs> Beck's behaviour. Yeah. Deb is not uh, like involved in the house, like not interacting with uh, Becky. So I, I want to help her. I want to show her that I love her and. Uh, She's, she comes out secure and confident person. So you can just come home at half one when I ask you In Birmingham, 16-year-old like, Werder is also in big trouble for staying out you late. You like, okay, fair enough, even if you didn't come over home at half one, you could have come home at two, but three, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's like an hour and a half later. Not yeah, one night like that when Mum but two hours no, but, late then, look, in the firstly, afternoon. You said that you, you were coming home. That's a lie. You can't lie. Muslims aren't allowed to lie. I didn't say I was yeah, coming did. home. If mum was here, she would be so angry with you. Firstly, for not saying when you're coming home the exact time. Well, I'm here. There's a sudden freedom because the discipline that the mum brings into the house isn't here. I think I should apologise. I didn't mean to make the same in terms of personal freedoms, I think they're struggling more than they actually say they are. They're trying to sort of kick out a bit. They want to sort of travel and experience the world and taste the world by themselves. Nuzat broadening her horizons, experiencing having a man do it in Andy was doing everything, and I don't like just sitting around doing nothing. No, no, please. I made it. You get first tips. I've never heard of any man doing this amount of work. If it was my husband, I wouldn't like it. Andy is a talented musician, and music is part of his everyday life. What kind of music do you listen to? Do you listen to music? No. <laughs> Not at all? We do listen to music, but that's done by, like, uh, Muslim artists, and yeah. uh, it's done differently, I think. This is the first time I heard rock music because it's not in Islam to listen to this type of music. That's why we don't listen. We don't even know how to hold it. No, just, yeah, you've got it right. If you turn it on, it's so it's sort of, yeah, a bit more. OK. Yeah. That's an A. You can play A. A major. Excuse me, Naya. 
have to use these yeah. words. The wound was very... You're not helping very much with the laying. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> I've laid all this. You put the plates. I put the plates. I, 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 I put the rice in the microwave. Okay. Sorry. Well, it's Deb's one. last meal before rule change, and she's keen to find out if the family are ready for a bit of Western oh. culture. I don't think there's anything in my faith as Muslim that would stop me from integrating with the wider community. But what, what about one of the things we were talking about? You said that you wouldn't want to be around, you know, you wouldn't want to be in an environment where other people drink, are drinking alcohol. So wouldn't that exclude you from sort of going to certain places, restaurants or theatres? That theaters would mean that we or... have to find new ways of interacting and um, interact, integrating yeah. with people. There isn't a huge amount of liberalism here, or maybe they're not as liberal as they think they are. I try, but if you dig a bit deeper, it's pretty strict. Um, would you sit at a table with somebody that was drinking in, in a I restaurant? I wouldn't feel comfortable if they were heavily drinking and they were actually No, no, drunk. I don't but mean if, that. No, if they just had like a glass <laughs> of wine, then that wouldn't bother me, no. You can't mould your children into mini versions of yourself. And I think as they grow, that's going to become more and more of an issue. It's rule change day, and the wife are preparing to take over. <laughs> no routine and structure this weekend. We're going to have loads of fun and hopefully introduce some spontaneity. The wine aisle, then. I think that'll do. Accidents do happen, taking it out, I can just drop it and everything will be vanished. Oops! Assalamu alaikum. It's time for the wives to lay down okay. some new rules. I've basically spent the week being your mum, being news at, and at times I felt like a bit of a slave. So, I've devised a rotor. Yes! <laughs> and maybe Shaquille, you could cook and paint the extension. Oh, no. <laughs> Andy, you do too much in the house. No, I don't agree with that. I'll take over household chores. I would like to see you experience a little bit more freedom. And so I've organised for you to go and see uh, um, some bands. Yeah, that's good. Sounds really good. Will you allow them to go? As long as the lyrics, for example, are not offensive. I want to know what, who are the organisers in terms of, for example, just health and safety things. OK. I don't think... You and your mom spent time together, and while he, I'm here, you will have to spend time with me. I want to have a glass of wine in your home, and I have, for that matter, bought a bottle of wine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> As a Muslim family home, I wouldn't want uh, anyone to, to be having alcohol. Right. I mean, this is something that I would do. And I've come into your home, and to, and to be honest, I've, had, I've done a lot of things that are sort of against pretty much my ethics. And I think I'm just asking for the sort of the same, you know, in return. I'll have to check on that. OK, OK. Drinking in Islam, it's... It's forbidden anyway, it's forbidden isn't it? It's forbidden, yeah. That's why I have removed all the from the kitchen. <laughs> yes. And I must have missed somewhere else in the house. No, no, you can search. There's nothing in the house. Did you find something? Yes, in Birmingham, Deb can't wait to open her bottle of wine. But first, first Shaquille has to check on some Islamic websites to see say? if the alcohol is allowed. Make it clear that you're not going to have something that's not yeah. allowed. You are not allowed as a Muslim, but you can join them. Okay. Well, that's great. But I'm really glad that that got resolved, and you know, we found out that yeah, actually. Uh, Deborah could drink in the house because, you know, my sort of gut feeling was that we should let her because she followed all of our rules so sort of scrupulously. So it's now it's our turn to, to sort of live by her rules. The problem we have now is obviously you're not going to have a corkscrew, so we might not actually be able to, you know, to, to open the bottle. Is that the only thing you can open if it's Oh, uh, yeah. I think probably what I'm going to suggest is that I don't have a glass of wine tonight <laughs> okay. because I can't open the bottle. In Liverpool, Nuzat implements her first rule change and returns to the role of traditional Muslim wife and mother. Bex, what do you think of the rule changes? They're really positive. My, some of my friends, they spend loads of time with their mum and they get on really well. Like, I'm really good friends with them. Mm. So and I want that with my mum. So Since Emily was born, we never really had time to spend with each other. So, good. Do I not do any putting away? Any Nothing. Nothing. Surely that's wrong, though, surely. Why? Because you made this delicious meal. This is something which is different between our cultures. I see myself and Deb as very, very equal. I believe that I've got as much responsibility of keeping the house tidy as Deb has. 
So that's going to be weird. Me and Beth can clear. In Birmingham, Shaquille is standing firm over his objections to the gig. But Deb has done some research to try and persuade him. The venue uh, for tonight, they have a, um, security guards around, a lot of whom are parents themselves. OK. In terms of health and safety, sometimes too much sound, I mean, too high sound level could be yeah. bad for your ears. There won't be anything that's going to be damaging to the ears. They'll be doing sound checks today, you know. Shaquille is trying to find ways for the gig tonight to be a problem. This is about him trying to put obstacles in the way, and I think that's probably the way that they've kept them controlled. Your dad was worried about your ears. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure our ears will be fine. So do you want to go? Yeah. Yeah. Might have some reservations regarding a possible offensive content of lyrics. I would not listen to that. I would not encourage my children to to do so. In Liverpool, Nazat is being the devoted mother, right I down to preparing vegetarian minutes. bacon sandwiches for Beth. Thank you. You're welcome. Normally, I just make my own breakfast. It was nice to have someone else making it for me. I haven't said anything to make anyone's life hard or difficult or it's anything. It's all to make it better. It's yeah. all to make it better. Yeah. I'm here to show that Muslims are very loving, caring, nice people, and that's how we live. This family is so damaged. And I hope when Debs comes back, she will be a loving, caring mother like me. Maybe, maybe that's too much to ask. Nuzat's next job is to attack Beck's room, and she's taking extreme precautions. So messy, so dirty. But when she discovers some contraband alcohol, it's clear that Beck has broken one of her rule changes. Yesterday when I talked about alcohol, I said if anyone got anything hidden, it, she said no, nothing at all. And I can see there clearly. I'm going through all this and uh, no respect. Yeah, it's really nice what you did. Look. Thank you. But I was disappointed on something. You know what it is. Mm. Oh? The rule change was no drinking, and if got any alcohol, mm. um, give it to me. Oh, my little one? Mm. What one for Christmas? Your mum bought some for the... Christmas. But they're, they're not like proper alcohol. It's just a little thing. It's not but like you're thing. like under 18. Shouldn't be drinking bit. anyway. The very big shocking thing in that was, she said, oh, that my mom bought me for Christmas. And I went, what? Shows what type of mother is she. Do you remember I said this morning, we were asking about the lyrics? Yes. So we've contacted all of the vans and we've spoken With to the them, and it's all looking fine. Debbie's still trying um, to persuade Shaquille. Bands, they said there's no swearing, but there's nothing offensive. So there, there's nothing to worry about. Right. So nothing suggesting you are no, 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 no. Uh, swearing. No, not at all. That sounds okay. Yeah. So I think that I think that'll have fun. Yeah. I could wear this dress. With permission granted, Umama and Werder can finally go to their know. first ever rock yeah. gig. Do I wear a dress or a skirt? Oh, I don't know. This is cool. all these colours. I like those. Of course, you say yeah. Oh yeah, I could wear. Going to a music concert and wearing a headscarf. I do worry about what other people, people might do think. Judge. I think other girls wearing headscarves would feel the same. So they wouldn't go because yeah. of that. But maybe that's something that will change. Maybe yeah. so you'll, you will see more of. Yeah, we can be pioneers. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind changing the world. Have a good evening. Yeah, have see you later. It's oh, still raining. Safe. Yeah. Okay, okay. on. Look after yourself. A little bit nervous. It's the first time they have uh, gone just themselves uh, yeah. to an event like that. have a long-term positive effect. I'm going to ask you to go to like festivals and gigs.
I'm so chuffed because I think this is the start of lots as well. Because once they've gone once and enjoyed it, they will argue the case now. So that's a huge, a huge achievement. Thank you. I'm really, really glad that Deb's made sure it happened because now we can continue going to other gigs and stuff and it's paved the way, really. First bands were just awful. Yeah. <laughs> they just... so funny. We were I, just I, laughing. But the other bands are good. Yeah. The two, the two other bands are They were good. Yeah, I can imagine myself listening to them all day. I'm pleased to and relieved. They're safely home and uh, some apprehensions, the reservation that I had, it seems uh, they were perhaps unfounded. I, I won't mind them going again sometime. You were watching when I was making yeah. this door. Just Next like, morning in Liverpool, Becky's struggling to adapt to Nuzat's strict rules. Can you do me a favor? Can you put something on? Because I dress modestly, covering myself. So it will be just out of respect and because so it will be nice. Yes, yes, anything. Thank you very much. I don't think I'm unmodest compared to most girls. I don't go out with mini skirts on. Because she covers up for her religion, doesn't she? I don't. It's hot as well. <laughs> Aren't you hot? Do we not wear all this stuff while cooking? I am hot. But if other men are around, then I have to wear this. And because it's religious, hell is going to be hotter than this. As Nuzat sweats in the name of her faith... Would you, mark, would you do the hoovering? Yeah. Over in Birmingham, Deb has the rest of the family working hard. With jeans, you could put them on quite a hot wash. Leave that out, it's only, only sort of green. Everyone is doing more around the house and stuff. Just to make it easier for everyone else. Roger, where's the frying pan? I think that's something that I'm going to take away, that I should take more responsibility for doing like stuff around the house. I am 18 and I can't expect my mum to do it for the rest of my life. One of Nuzat's rule changes is to give Beck and Andy some time okay. together. Hold that shell, it's not on that string. <laughs> It's quite tricky because you've got to press down really hard. I've been close occasionally with Beck, but I think this week really has brought us a lot closer together. That idea about teaching her a couple of bass lines was inspired. She's treating me with a bit more respect, as if she actually cares what my opinion is. Yeah, it's challenging though, isn't it? Three notes. <laughs> you and yourself? Yeah, yeah. Nice playing music. Um, so do you mind? I'll take my top off. You can put on t shirt instead of a low neck. It's up to you, Becky, I'm not bothered. OK? Mm -hmm. The fact that she's Muslim and the fact that I want to help portray Western people in a light which will reflect well on us has probably made me water down some of the things I might have said. I'm walking a tricky line. It's the last day of the swap, and Nuzat has one more chance to give Beck some quality mum and daughter time and buy her some appropriate clothing. Yes, if it makes you happy, then... I feel happy because she was happy, and then I feel sad, felt sad as well, why her mother is not doing it. How can you smile if you're happy? Miss my mum loads more than I thought I would. And um, when she comes back, I think I'm going to say, spend more time together. Becky is saying, I want more time with my mum. She needs to involve more with with her children, she, like, especially Beck's room, that was just, that, but that's mother, shouldn't it make mother's duty to go and say, get that done now, Yeah, yeah, but, 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 but Deb's, in Deb's defence, Deb will talk to, to Beck about issues like that, that room, mm. two, three times a week. With your children, you can't say, I tried. You have to keep trying. If you don't yeah. do more than 100%, yeah, uh, then Deb who does else try. is... Yeah, but Deb does try all the time. I don't think she tried enough. No. See, till I went out of my way to clean Beck's room, why, why Deb, Deb hasn't done that? I think she is a really good mum. And I think she, you know, she looks after us all in a really good way. So. I don't think she'll take anything away from this, other than the knowledge that she's superior to us. 
I don't know what I've done. I've respected everything about her. I just don't feel that's necessarily been reciprocated. In Birmingham, Deb Give goes them. on an evening oh. with Shaquille to discuss whether her rule changes will stay in place. In terms of girls going out, uh, it maybe not so much to music concerts or bands, but uh, well, I, I, I'm a bit sad about that. <laughs> I feel a bit <laughs> saddened to hear that from you, to be honest. Lots of negative things associated with music industry or uh, um, bands especially. Determined not to give in, Deb gets the girls in on the discussion. I wouldn't mind, you know what we were talking about, about the girls going out. Yes. Just having a quick chat with how they feel about that. Well, I think that since, like, my dad agreed in the first place, I don't really know why he's kind of taken a U-turn, as you said. But if the things that happen at some music events that have given some of its bad image, I feel sure that the event that you want to go to doesn't have those kinds of things. But like well, we what? did research about this event. I see Muslims that are going to Glastonbury mm. and having a really good time. And like, you don't have, have to be involved in the drugs and the alcohol. No, Because yeah. there's loads of people who don't. Absolutely. And, and if you're at a music concert and they came near the front, there's lots of pushing and you all... But then you can just stay at the side or stay at the back and still enjoy the concert as you would wherever you are. And it's not just about music, it's in a... Everything we do in life, we have to find the way which is in line with Islamic principles. Shaquille had actually said repeatedly, yes, this has been great, and then just completely backtracked. You know, I was pretty pissed off, to be honest. It was um, disappointing and upset. The swap is over and the wives get ready to go back to their families. It has been really hard, really challenging. Really please, I'm going home now. <laughs> the thing I really want to say to you is that is to give her, her children a bit more food and maybe about letting go. Thank you. I'm going to miss you all so much. Bye. Bye. I think your house is really messy and really dirty. <laughs> I think maybe you've just come in and been maybe quite judgmental. I felt like a slave in your home. I don't believe that a woman's role is to, to serve her family. That's my choice. I, like, I love looking after and, uh, my children and my husband, so that's my choice. I love but them. Everybody so thinks that you're doing too much. But Andy does too much in the house. He's well, not we being, share, he's you know. not been, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> he's not been appreciated and oh, respected, I, I think. think. <laughs> okay. You need to have a relationship with Bex. Yeah, I think I she is screaming for help yeah. and she is screaming for love. As a mother, I will never say giving up on my child. I haven't given up on her. Uh, like, I, I haven't just given keep... up on her. Obviously, you love her as mum. Of course. It's just it's she my baby. hasn't realised yeah, so... how much you love her. I arranged for the girls to go to a music concert, and they went and they had a fantastic time. We do have fun. It wasn't, I wasn't suggesting that you didn't have fun as a family. It was, it was about a different kind of fun. Uh, but, like... Why it had to be rock concert? Because they it's wanted just, to go. Uh, what children want is not always right. They're not children, they're adults, they're young adults. They are young adults, but mm. they are still well, my children. She's 18 so. years old. The world yeah. is a very like bad place. But I know they don't know at, at the age of 16 but how will they know? They can't know from you telling them. They have to experience it. Other intelligent people learn from other people's mistakes. And from experience. The best lessons are from actually doing rather than reading about it or somebody telling you and instructing you. And with the table meeting over, both wives return home to their family. Oh, I miss you too. Have fun. No, not really. Oh. <laughs> 
Very good. Wow! That is nice! So I'm, so I'm, I'm not modest. You're not modest. The way I dress. It's a different kind of culture, isn't it? That. Oh. <laughs> you are glad to see me. <laughs> <laughs> It's a month since the swap, and for the Ahmeds, two weeks living with Western influence has only served to underline their own strong beliefs. The changes Debs made here won't happen again. One of them will be going to gigs, which is waste of money, waste of time. You don't know what kids are up to, and it's not Islamic at all. I kind of asked about one of a gig that my friend is playing at, my mum wasn't really too keen on it, but I think I will ask her again. I'm going to try for more freedom, definitely. Yeah, I think we, we think that we'll push it more. Girls are more cheeky. They are pushing limits a lot more. I don't know why, why they learned that. That was like not a nice thing to learn. We all have been trying to do a little bit more towards the running of the family so that Nusrat can have some time off. I'd rather do too much and uh, likely like this instead of a uh, family like her. But for the escorts, life has changed for the better. Oh, oh come on, see if we can oh, catch it. Flying. It has been a positive experience because it's brought us closer. We've learned from this and we're getting on much better as a family. It made me realise more just how much fun we do actually have in our life. She was in that film with Tom Cruise. I've been spending more time with Beth one to one, so we've been cooking together, <laughs> going out, and we've just been getting on quite a bit better. Andy, what was your first thing you They ate and the ants. I think Andy and Beth maybe have seen something about each other that they, they didn't necessarily see before. Me and Andy got closer, and we get on now. Then what happened? So you come back and really appreciate what the, all the lovely things about your family and it's made us sort of realise all of the good things that we have.